family welcome to holy communion where we break bread so today we'll be looking at genesis 24 and genesis 24 reads like this so abram was very old and god had blessed him in every way now when abram was old he called one of his chief staff to come and do something for him so he said place your hand under my thigh and promise me that you will not take a wife for my son in this land of canaan but you will go to my home country to my own relatives and find a wife for my son now the chief of staff says to abraham listen what if the girl i find there does not want to come back with me should i take isaac to the country where you guys come from and abraham said certainly not you must never take my son back to where i come from because god had promised us this land of canaan therefore just go there the angel of god will go before you and make your way prosperous only promise me that you will not take my son back to where we come from this is when now the chief of staff takes um gold and stuff and a lot of things as dowry or as lobola as we call it and goes on to find isaac a wife so he goes and he gets to a place where abraham comes from and he he stands by the spring in verse 12 the bible says then he prayed lord god of my master abraham make me successful today and show kindness to my master abraham see i am standing beside the spring and the daughters of the town people are coming to draw water may it be that when i say to a young woman please let down your jar that i may have a drink and she says drink and i'll water your camels too let her be the one you have chosen for your servant isaac by this i will know that you have shown kindness to my master so today's title is how do you know when your prayers are being answered i want us to speak about this um servant of abraham he prayed and he prayed a specific prayer he said lord god of my master make me successful today i am beside a spring and i see all these women coming to the spring to draw water let it be that the woman i ask for water from gives me the water and also willingly offers to give some drink to my camels let her be the one as we go on in scripture we see that rebecca came to the spring and when rebecca came to the spring the servant said could you please draw some water so i can drink and rebecca said no certainly i will give you some drink and when the man was done drinking rebecca said let me draw some more water so i can give some to your camels right there and then the servant knew that the prayer has been answered oftentimes we pray vague prayers lord bless me lord give me money always general when we pray we are not specific hence we even fail to see when god has blessed us because we feel god didn't bless us the way we wanted to be blessed but we were never specific about how much we want god to bless you with what do you want god to bless you what kind of job do you want to god to bless you with you just said oh lord please give me a job what kind of a job are you looking for and when you get a job to pick up papers on the street you feel as though god doesn't like you or god didn't bless you but you are never specific that i want an office job where i work with papers or i work with people it's important that we pray prayers that are honest we pray specific prayers lord please bless me with a house that's a four bedroom house so it can cater for my children and can you please grant it to me before end of the year before end of 2024 those are specific prayers like the servant he already knew as soon as rebecca said let me also draw some water so i can give to your camels automatically the, uh, the prayer has been answered how do you know when your prayer has been answered it is important that we pray specific precise prayers don't be afraid to pray don't be afraid to ask god remember god is sitting in heaven and all things belong to the lord the bible says the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof there's nothing that god does not own so god bless you